Following the initial failure by the Interior Ministry to resolve the backlog at the Immigration Department over passports in time, the Interior Ministry is now coming up with modalities to ensure that shortcomings are addressed. The backlog is almost now under 1 million. Kindiki says that at least 1 million requests are pending at the Immigration Department. It's building uh, based on uh, the daily number of applicants and what we are teaching out. But allow me to do that in the written statement. And going forward, anything passports, I'll handle the public communications and I'll take responsibilities for the mess. Uh, when the mess is sorted out, everybody else can take the credit. On Thursday, Principal Secretary at the Immigration Department received over 100,000 passports. Of those, 50-page uh, passports are 92,066 page passports amounting to 20,000. 34 pages passports are expected in the next month. As the minister, is when Kenyans pay for a service and they can't get it. That is very, very disheartening. It makes me feel very low. So, but the, the fees are manageable. Uh, but they are manageable, comparative. But now the, ta the, the challenge is for us to up our our service uh, level. Interior Ministry now says it requires 5 billion shillings to clear the mess. If the immigration department is facilitated with 5 billion shillings, uh, first of all right now that department is is uh, collecting about 20 billion to the exchequer annually. They're asking to retain 5, we were given 3, which, which already is helping us. But if we get 5 billion, the revenue will jump from 20 billion to 100 billion a year. That's how serious it is. And the government is supportive, the National Treasury is supportive. As of Thursday, the Interior Ministry says that 17 suspects have been arrested in relation to corruption and irregular issuance of passports. One of them got an, a heart attack. We arrested him, he got a heart attack because he never believed we will reach to them because they know many people in town and, and so forth. We, we have not that there. There is still reports of corruption, uh, b b b taking advantage of the shortages to, 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 to demand bribes. But again, the war against corruption in, 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 in the immigration department is ongoing through overt and covert measures. The backlog has been attributed to pending bills. I agree the corruption issues are still rampant there and have been... I have told uh, all my colleagues there, we will have to clean up the place. We, we have begun somewhere, but we are not, we are not yet there. We, we have begun, we have begun, but we are not yet there. We have a real problem. It's the police, it's the immigration officers, it's other agents who, who do the, 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 mix, the, the, the linking of, 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 of the service provider. And we just ask for a little patience. We'll have to move. Um, even officers, we suspect, even before getting evidence that they are corrupt, we have to move them just as a, a, a good practice. We have uh, moved a procurement, have directed the PS to liaise with the National Treasury, the procurement people there, and the security agencies also are going to be moved, all of them, including police officers and, and everybody else. We just have to clean up this place. Maybe you can give us another 10 days to complete that exercise, then you can go and verify for yourself. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.